Hello everyone. Today I would like to present our study, which is called Data Free Substitute Training for Adversarial Attacks. Currently, the adversarial attack can be divided into two categories. The first category is the gradient-based attacks. In black box setting, the gradient-based attack need to use a substitute model to generate adversarial examples by the gradient information of the substitute model and transfer the examples to the attack model. The key point of the black box gradient-based attack is the transferability of adversarial examples. Attackers can use numerous labeled data to train the substitute model or use the unlabeled data to access the outputs of attack model as the labels to train the substitute model. However, attackers need to collect numerous real data to train the adversary examples. The real data is hard to collect in some tasks, such as medical image classifications. Another category is of attacks is the query-based attacks. It uses query to probe the output information of the attack model and generate adversarial examples. This kind of attack doesn't need a substitute model, but it needs numerous queries to generate each adversarial example. According to above disadvantages, there are some simple defense methods to resist adversarial attacks. For query-based attacks, machine learning model can limit the queries using the same input to defend against attacks. For gradient-based attacks, machine learning model can protect their data so that the attackers can hard to train the substitute model. Therefore, current machine learning developers might underestimate the risk for machine learning technologies. We want to develop a new attack mechanism which can steal the attack model without the requirement of real data. This figure illustrates the training of our data inspired by the generative adversarial networks. We use the generative model to produce the synthetic data to train the substitute model. The objective of generative model is to explore the output difference between attack model and the substitute model. And the objective of the substitute model is to imitate output characteristics of the attack model. The attack model can be considered as a referee. It's a special two-player game in the training, like the game we train the generative model model and the substitute model iteratively. This naive method can find the samples to train the substitute model. However, for the performance, the synthetic samples should be equally distributed in the input space. The naive test will generate samples with view labels for the attack model, so that the substitute model cannot imitate the attack model comprehensively. This will cause the model collapse. To control the category of the synthetic samples, the Formula 1 can help the generative model to control the category of synthetic samples, which are equally distributed in the input space. The N denotes the label signal. CE is the cross entropy loss. However, this loss requires the great information of the attack model. It violates the rules of black box attacks. Therefore, we use the substitute model to replace the attack model in the equation 1 because the substitute model in training will gradually imitate the classification characteristics of the attack model so that the loss function of the generative model is shown in equation 3. The loss function of substitute model is shown in equation 4. This is the algorithm of death training. Death P can access the output probability to train the substitute model. Desk L can access the output label to train the substitute model. This table presents the performance of DAS on MNIST dataset. For the experiments on MNIST, we design three different network architectures, including a small network, which has three convolutional layers, a medium network, which has four convolutional layers, and a large network, which has five convolutional layers. We use the large net as the attack model and the large net as the architectures of the baseline model trained by the original dataset and the substitute model in DAS. The experiment shows that the substitute model trained by our DAS P outperform the baseline model. The DAS A also have good performance. Next, to evaluate the influence of substitute architecture in DAS, we use different architectures for the substitute model. The large substitute model achieves the best performance in most cases. To evaluate the performance of DAS in real world tasks, we employ the example model of Azure Platform as a service. We don't know the machine learning methods of this attack model. In these experiments, our test air achieves best performances. This is the visualization of synthetic samples generated by the generator in our test. The samples are different with the real samples on MNIST dataset. I have finished delivering my speech. Thank you for your support.